Hey everybody, this is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. I'd like to talk a little bit about the DNC and the scandal as well as the Democratic debate and the mainstream media's push against Bernie Sanders. So the DNC debacle started a couple of months ago actually. And for those of you who haven't followed that story, I'll explain it uh, as quickly as I can. A couple of months ago, the firewall was taken down. Now, this firewall is basically a wall that prevents people from the Bernie Sanders campaign or from the Hillary campaign or for the Martin O'Malley campaign from accessing information of the other campaigns. It's like a partition or a wall. The database essentially is the same database with all the voter information all in one spot. But these firewalls prevent people from crossing over into the other campaign. Well, a couple of months ago, they discovered that Uh, Bernie Sanders' information was being allowed to be viewed, downloaded, copied, transferred, or whatever by the other campaigns. So they went to the DNC, told them they needed to fix it. So the DNC contacted the vendor who had pushed an update, which caused this glitch. That's the story they're sticking to here. So that was fixed at that moment. Now fast forward to about a week ago. It happened again, but this time... Apparently, the only information that was able to be seen or downloaded or whatever was the Hillary Clinton information from the Bernie Sanders campaign, because I haven't seen any mention about Martin O'Malley having access to Hillary Clinton's information. So it looks like the firewall was only dropped for Bernie to look at Hillary's stuff, and a staffer did just that. Now, Sanders has fired that staffer that had discovered the firewall being down the dnc alleges that the sanders staffer had looked at this information for a couple of hours and somebody on twitter had leaked an activity log that claims to prove that this in fact did happen that he was copying information from hillary clinton's campaign voter information but we're talking about a completely anonymous source here that has provided just a you know like a, a a table of just random stuff which could have been created very easily in a Microsoft Word document and then put out online so to me that's not proof well what the DNC did and this is Debbie Wasserman Schultz made this decision I'm sure she's the chairwoman of the DNC she refused to allow Bernie Sanders from accessing his own information his own voter data this is data that the campaign that the bernie sanders campaign had to go out and get and they do so with the contributions the donations that they're receiving from the people in this country so basically she is screwing over the american people by telling bernie sanders oh until this investigation is complete you cannot view your own information that you got on your own, which is an unprecedented move. Now, I want to I want to point out that Debbie Wasserman Schultz is in the pocket of Hillary Clinton. She is a Hillary Clinton supporter. This is not a secret. Everybody knows that. Everybody in the Democratic circles knows that. So this wasn't just a coincidental happening. No, they tried to set Bernie Sanders' campaign up for a scandal. It's exactly what they did. They tried to make it out as if Bernie Sanders was going out and getting this information from Hillary Clinton's campaign when, in fact, it was just there. Let's say let's use Google as an example of how this thing works in Google. You will type in, you know, a phrase or a word or whatever, and then you'll be confronted with information about that topic. So let's say one of the staffers on on Bernie Sanders campaign types in information referring to certain types of voters or whatever, and then all of a sudden he also, in the list of Bernie Sanders voter information, in that same list is Hillary Clinton's voter information. It was just there. He didn't go looking for it. It's not like he, you know, some hacker program, you know, he's over there trying to get a hold of this Hillary uh, Clinton information. No, that's not what happened. Not at all. It was there. And they're claiming he was looking at it for a couple of hours. Well, Bernie fired the guy, which I I disagree with because for me, it's a little too early to tell what happened. 
And also, it made him look a little more guilty than he would have if he'd have just said, look, we're looking into the matter. This is what it is. But then Debbie Wasserman Schultz takes it upon herself to cut Bernie Sanders off from his own information. Now, this is the same woman that prevents Bernie Sanders from getting any airtime. Because, see, Hillary Clinton gets all the airtime she wants. Hillary Clinton is all over mainstream media. Mainstream media keeps pushing out these polls that saying, uh, oh, Hillary Clinton's in the lead. And and then after this last debate, now CNN's coming out. Oh, Hillary Clinton's up 60% to 27%. Seriously, that's what they're, CNN is trying to say, that Hillary Clinton has the support of 60% of the voters and Bernie Sanders only has support of 27% after that last debate. That is the biggest load of horse crap I have ever heard in my life. It really is. And if you watched that Democratic debate, you can clearly see that Hillary Clinton is just reciting stuff that was written for her based on this think tank information that her campaign has compiled together to figure out what she can say that's going to have the biggest impact. She's not speaking from her heart. She's not speaking from her own ideological standpoints. No, she is speaking about whatever she feels is the most widely accepted thing within the realm of her ideology. That's what she's doing. If you notice during the economic portion, and she's listing her her plans for the economy, she stumbles over the paper that she's looking down at on her podium. She's stumbling over it because she doesn't know what she's reading. She doesn't know what her economic plan is. All she knows is that some staffer or some writer or some, uh, you know, uh, or a psychologist has compiled this data, what is most likely going to go over well with the voters. And she's just reading that information, trusting that the people she has hired is putting information in front of her that is going to be taken better than her own crap ideology. Because if you look at the way Hillary Clinton has run her campaign, it has been corporate donation, corporate donation, corporate donation, super PAC, corporate donation. And then you look at Bernie Sanders' campaign, and it is American donation, American citizen donation, voter donation. He doesn't have super PAC. He doesn't take corporate donations. All of the money that he has raised has been from the American people. And now that says something about Bernie Sanders' integrity versus Hillary Clinton's integrity. And the fact that she doesn't even know what her own economic policies are when she's on stage in a debate also says a lot about her view of the economy and what she's going to do. She doesn't know what she's going to do because when she gets in there, she's going to do whatever it is that's going to benefit the people that has put money in her pocket, which are the big corporations. She is an oligarch, just like Obama is an oligarch, just like George W. Bush was an oligarch. She's right in the same camp as the other people, and she's got the mainstream media in her pocket, and Bernie Sanders does not. They're doing to Bernie Sanders what they did to Ron Paul. They are shutting him out. And the DNC tried to shut him out. But then they were going to slap the DNC with a lawsuit. I don't think they thought the Bernie Sanders campaign would do that. They were going to slap the DNC with a lawsuit. And what that would have drudged up was a lot of information proving that Hillary Clinton and Debbie Wasserman Schultz are in collusion with one another because they would have been forced to hand over documents and information and conversations and emails and all of that stuff in order to further this investigation. And the DNC didn't want to do that. They immediately turned around and gave his information back once that lawsuit was filed. Bernie Sanders was trying to get a hold of Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the DNC in order to fix that problem with his information because they cut him off and then they wouldn't respond to him. 
They wouldn't call him back. They wouldn't email him back. They wouldn't respond to him at all until he filed a lawsuit. And then that's what they knew. They knew that they would lose that lawsuit. And they knew that in the meantime, all of their information surrounding the support that Debbie Wasserman Schultz has for Hillary Clinton, all of that would have come right out in the open. And she wasn't going to have that. That's why they immediately turned around and gave that information back. So I want everybody out there to be understanding when it comes to this election. There is a mainstream media blackout for Bernie Sanders. There are skewed polls that are being pushed out there against Bernie Sanders so that people have this idea of, well, he's not electable. I'm not going to vote for Bernie because I don't think he can get elected. This happens every single campaign, every single uh presidential election every single election you you hear that oh he's not electable oh i love bernie sanders but he's not an electable person of course he is walk your ass out to the voting booth and vote for bernie sanders that's how you do it we cannot let this establishment nazi-like lying woman to get in there and destroy this country any more than it's already been destroyed We've been dealing with establishment politics for the last 30 years, and it's time to stop. And this crap that happened with the DNC just proves that Bernie Sanders is not in the pocket of the establishment uh, political realm. He is not. That's why they did that to him. They tried to sabotage his campaign because they know he is not their puppet. They don't get to control Bernie Sanders. They don't get to control him. That's why. They're trying to undermine Bernie Sanders' campaign every chance they get. And I'd also like to point out, if you go to any political forum or even the YouTube comments, you go to a comment section on USA Today or comment section on CNN, what you see is the vast majority of people wanting Bernie Sanders, not Hillary Clinton. But if you look at the mainstream media, they'll tell you that that's not true. They'll tell you, oh, everybody wants Hillary Clinton. No, no. Hillary Clinton is the status quo. Bernie Sanders is a step in a different direction, as is Donald Trump. That's why they don't like Donald Trump either. I don't like Donald Trump because the guy's a bigot. I don't like him because he doesn't believe in the constitutional rights that we have in this country. If he did, he wouldn't be calling on bans for, of Muslims. That's why I don't like Donald Trump. Other than that, I like Donald Trump because what he says, he means. Just like Bernie Sanders. Donald Trump doesn't go out there and try to speak uh, words that he thinks is going to be you know, t- taken well by the American people. No, he goes out there and just talks. That's the way Bernie Sanders is. And Bernie Sanders has been saying the same stuff for the last 10 years. He has had the same ideal ideology for the last 10 years that I've been listening to him. And likely he's had the same ideology, you know, for most of his life. And that's something you don't see nowadays. And I think it's sad that a lot of people are falling for this trap. And I even just a while ago, I seen somebody, they're like, Oh, uh, Bernie or Bernie Hillary uh, ticket or a Hillary Bernie ticket, either one, I don't care. I can tell you this right now. If Bernie became president and he put Hillary Clinton as his VP, Bernie would get assassinated. He would become JFK, I guarantee it. Hillary Clinton is a twisted individual. She is an evil person. It takes an evil person to do what Hillary Clinton has done, and she does it all the time. She doesn't care. She doesn't care about anything but power. She wants power. She wants to be the first woman president. She wants it so bad, and you can just see it all over her face. She will lie through her teeth. She will say whatever she thinks she needs to say in order to get that title, and that's what she wants. We cannot let her get even on the vice presidential part of that ticket she cannot be vice president because if she is she will hire somebody to kill bernie sanders 
We can't let that happen. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and share this video because a lot of people aren't talking about this stuff. They just aren't. But anyway, that's it for now. This is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. Peace out.